guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So tonight we are gonna be doing a night routine. I'm gonna bring you guys along throughout my evening to show you guys kind of like the healthier kind of aspects that I stick to and some of the things that I just do that I figured I could share with you guys, maybe inspire you guys to add to your nightly routines. I just got home actually. Usually around this time I get home from the gym. I'm either training myself, training someone or doing something at the gym and I usually come home around this time. However, today I didn't go to the gym. Surprise, it's a rest day for me, but I had a physio appointment. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I had an injury a while ago and I'm still slowly coming back from it. I think that this is one of my last physio appointments, so we're gonna start really building up them there. But yeah, I had my physio appointment and my back is all taped. I don't know if I can show you guys. Do you guys see my back? It's like all taped down here. It feels a little weird, but my hip was actually out of place. So we had to replace my hip kind of thing like that. My pelvis was kind of shifted forward. Pretty relaxed day because she does a lot of manipulation on my back, a lot of moving the muscles, loosening the muscles. I take it pretty easy. I don't do anything intense. Usually I don't go to the gym on the days that I have physio just because she's really loosened up my muscles and I want them to recover before I actually go back to the gym. So the first thing that I do when I usually get back, because it's not the gym, I don't really need to change out of my clothes or anything like that. Usually if I come back from the gym, your girl has to change but today we don't have to change because we're not a sweaty, disgusting mess. So what I actually do after that is I go and just do some work, take some quiet time, sit outside. It's a little hot today, but we're gonna go sit out and enjoy the warmth because it's summer and we should just enjoy the weather as much as possible. So that is what we're gonna go do. Hello. Wow. Love. Love your fashion statement. I know. Eh? Hi. Hi. So David is home and we are going to go for a little walk, a little after exercise recovery. My back is a little sore so I just want to get it moving because I find after physio if I'm sitting too long it gets a little stiff so I just want to get my back moving and David needs to recover from his intense workout at CrossFit so we're going to go for a nice little walk. David wants to tell everyone what yeah. his workout was. So the workout... You're not even in frame. Hi guys. Tell them your workout. So the workout was... Oh fuck, what was the workout? Okay. <laughs> the workout was 30 back squats at 135 pounds. Then you had to run 400 meters. Then you had to do 30 chest to bar at... Well, chest to bar. <laughs> and then run 200 meters. Come back and do 30 hands, strict handstand push-ups run 100 meters, you had to do 30 cleans at 135, and then go run 800 meters, and that was the workout. I was a fat little kid running at the end. <laughs> I also wanted to share another little story time with you, and David, you gotta listen to this little story time. So this morning, I was in the house, I had the door open, the cats were outside, and then I see Fluff, and I saw that she caught something, and our cats all the time catch house flies, they like to catch them, and then kill them, and so I thought she caught a house fly, so I was like, okay, whatever. And then I see her come in the house, and I noticed I saw something a little black in her mouth, but I didn't really see much, because she ran past me and was like scurrying inside, and I was like, what the hell? So I look away, and then I look back at her, and on the floor is this giant moth, and she, it's like crawling away, and she's like starting to attack, and I'm like freaking out because there's a giant moth in the house. Anyway, so I pushed her away, I was like, don't touch it! And then I put a container over it, and then I brought it outside, and then I put it on the thing and let him kind of sit out there, and then he flew and kind of flew into the side of the house, 
and then stayed there and I was hoping he'd get up and then after like an hour or so of being at home I went to look at him see if he you know flew away or something if he was still living and well he was dead and there was a spider on him and now he's a spider's food. <laughs> I'll bring you guys to him because I don't, I'm too scared to move him. This is a giant moth here. You guys can't see on the camera but there's a spider web. I think the spider's already down to kill him and have him as food because the spider's on him already. You guys just can't really see but that little black dot is a spider. Anyway, so they have not been allowed outside today because I just don't want them to eat it. So Nicole, what happened? Uh, I caught myself. This is why I don't cut the vegetables that often while cooking supper. This is why I just don't cook, because I cut myself. This is why this guy cooks. It hurts. I know, huh? It's not too Let's deep. do the damage. No, I'm not going to show everything. You're not That's showing disgusting. the damage? It's bleeding a lot, but it's good. I don't have to go to the hospital. But you're going to cut now. Yeah. I'm done. We're just cutting avocado. I'm done. <laughs> Tonight for supper, we're keeping it really basic. We're having just some sandwiches with some broccoli. So in my sandwich, I just put some hummus. This is the Moroccan hummus. It's new to me. It's my first time trying it. We also put some avocado. These are some fake veggie chicken, some tomato, and then obviously some green onion. And then on top of the broccoli, I put this sweet mustard, the just sweet mustard. So that is what we're having for supper. Okay, so it is bedtime now. Dave and I usually go to bed pretty early just because we wake up really early. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I just picked this up recently and it has been helping me a lot. And I picked up this book, it's called Dear Universe, and there's 200 mini meditations in here and I really, really like it. It's not a book necessarily for someone who's super spiritual. No matter what you believe in, this is just a really good book. And if you aren't someone into meditating so much, and if you're kind of wanting to meditate, but you're not really sure to take the steps, I think that this is a really good book. Even if you're into meditation, I think it's great. So what I really like about this book is that it has 100 negative feelings and 100 positive feelings. And so you just kind of go through the list. She has a list here and you kind of go with how you're feeling, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling happy, whatever. And it will have a number next to it and then it gives you like a little meditation to meditate with. So that is just something I've been doing when I go to bed. I also have been doing it when I wake up. I've been liking to wake up and journal a little bit and I've been using this as a little guide through my meditation on how I'm feeling that day. So that's pretty much it. I know the lighting is horrible. We're gonna, just gonna deal with it. It is what it is. I know this wasn't really a fitness related video. Usually you guys see me just doing CrossFit stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
if you did give it a big thumbs up it really helps the channel and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below you guys know where it is and i will see you guys in the next video bye summer days burn me out love just brings me down cold inside like when she leaves i slowly leave the ground hey you come back i want to give you a chance love me like you used to so we can learn again the skin is getting round baby drinking